One of the top issues we discussed was the currency. Um, as part of any deal, we would want to make sure that they support their currency. We're not going to have a situation where we pick up gains in trade to only lose them in currency devaluation. And as part of the NAFTA deal, for the first time, we have a very strong currency chapter that talks about currency transparency. So this is something we're very much focused on in all of our trading relationships. So if they manipulate it uh, stronger, it's OK. We, we, it's a way we'd like them to, to manipulate it so we don't call them a manipulator if it's in the, in the direction that, that, that favors us. Uh, where are we on, on whether we do uh, declare uh, uh, China as a currency manipulator? Because they seem that, that they did some manipulation last week. Well, if, if you look at what's going on in the currency, and you are, you are correct, to the extent that they go in and support the currency, and again, this is something, their, their currency is more of a controlled currency than, than other markets that are completely free access. But if they go in and, and support their currency, that is not currency manipulation. If, if they let their currency weaken, either for structural reasons or for actual uh, manipulation, um, that is something that's manipulation. And again, this is one of the important issues. But let me just say there's lots of important issues. We need to make sure our technology is protected. We need to make sure our companies aren't forced into joint ventures. And we need to make sure that we have fair market access. That's what this is all about, so that we can have a level playing field for our companies and our products.